Hi everyone. Maria Agnesi, who lived in Italy in the 18th century, was the first woman to become a university professor of mathematics. She was also the first woman to write a mathematical handbook for use by students. And she's the topic of today's video. Maria Agnesi. Maria Gaetana Agnesi was born in Milan in 1718. She was one of 21 children of a three times married professor of mathematics at the University of Bologna, and her name is associated, as we'll see, with the famous curve, the Witch of Agnesi. She was a child prodigy, able to speak seven languages, including Latin, Greek, and Hebrew by the age of 11, and was solving difficult problems in geometry and ballistics by her early teens. Her father encouraged her studies and her appearance at public debates. However, Maria developed a chronic illness marked by convulsions and headaches, and from about the age of 20, withdrew socially and devoted herself to mathematics. In 1748, she published a handbook, the title of which translates to English as Analytical Institutions for the Use of Italian Youth. It focused on differential and integral calculus, one of the first books to do so, and it became a standard teaching manual. In 1750, she was appointed to the Chair of Mathematics and Natural Philosophy at Bologna, only the second woman ever to be granted a professorship and the first in mathematics but illness prevented her from serving in this position and after the death of her father in 1752, she gradually shifted her attention from mathematics to theology. For some years, she was the directress of the Hospice Trivulzio for Blue Nuns at Milan and ended her days as a member of the sisterhood itself. She died in 1799. A well-known curve which bears her name had been studied earlier in the 17th century by the French mathematician Pierre de Fermat and in 1703 in a paper by the Italian mathematician Guido Grandi. Maria wrote about this curve in her teaching manual and referred to it as the Versiera, a name given to it by Grandi which comes from the Latin simply meaning turn. But in translating her manual into English, John Colson, the fifth Lucasian professor of mathematics at Cambridge University, confused Versiera with Aversiera, which means witch or wife of the devil. And so the name of the curve came down to us as the Witch of Agnesi. To draw the curve, start with any two points O and M, and draw a circle with OM as a diameter. For any other point A on the circle, let N be the point of intersection of the secant line OA, a secant line is just a line that cuts a curve in two places, and the tangent line at M. Let P be the point of intersection of a line perpendicular to OM through A, and a line parallel to OM through N. Then P lies on the Witch of Agnesi. The which consists of all the points P that can be constructed in this way from the same choice of O and M. If we call the diameter of the circle A and place the center of the circle at the point 0 A over 2 on the y-axis, then in Cartesian coordinates the equation of the curve is y equals A cubed over x squared plus A squared. And by a happy coincidence, it does look a bit like a witch's hat. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at the life and work of perhaps the first woman in the Western world to be recognized as a mathematician. And I hope you'll check out some of the other videos on our channel. Please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell below if you want notifications. And I'll see you again soon to discover more maths.